the bounty hunter went on an unhinged, largely incoherent, anti-LGBTQ plus religious rant recently. Shocking. <laughs> laced with violent rhetoric and threats aimed at transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney, the former reality TV star whose real name is Dwayne Chapman and his sixth wife, Six wife, <laughs> Francie Fran, began their Facebook Live conversation with apostolic revivalist, uh. Cheryl Barrera. During the conversation, Barrera brought up prideful ministers and Chapman seized on the word, launching into a cliche heavy criticism of Pride Month. Chapman hinted at anti-LGBTQ plus violence, insisting that, quote, they're coming for our children, end quote. Chapman's daughter, Lisa, has reacted to this conversation, distancing herself from her father's words. Dog the Bounty Hunter goes on a rampage against all of us. What are we all talking about? I loved how your first reaction was shocking. <laughs> shocking. Sixth, shocking. Sixth wife, sixth wife, Francie Frayne. Mm -hmm. I mean, coming at, and they're together with an apostle, like an, an evangelist. Yeah, that's basically talking what Talking about... Gay, like being gay, like you're on your sixth wife. wife. Yeah, you're on your sixth wife. It, God knows why you got divorced from the other five. Well, well and he's got like 143 kids. Okay, he's got like 143 kids. Yeah. And yes, this is sixth wife. But his last wife, who was the, the 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 blonde woman who was on dog with him, passed away less than a year ago, and oh. he's already remarried. Oh wow. Okay. So, you yeah, know, he um, needs a woman, but he needs a woman to take care of him. So we're not, we're not, <laughs> and I'm not surprised. I mean, I, I, I wish I, I would love to yeah. think that maybe he could be an ally. You but know what I mean? They're, but they're coming for your children. I, like, I, I mean this with like so much respect. I don't care about your children. <laughs> <laughs> children go away. Like literally I see a child. I cross the street. Yeah. I want nothing to do. We don't right. want your children. No. We don't want to. You know what? When you kick your child out and he's 15 or 16 and she's 15 and 16 and it's like North Dakota and and she's freezing or he's freezing, I would probably bring them into the house and help them make, out. Help them out. Yeah. But that's, a, you know, that's where my, you know, that's where my charity comes in from. I don't no, want. No, not even your charity. Honey. The, that's where your humanity, humanity comes in. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But I don't care about your child. I don't want to indoctrinate your child. I don't want to groom your child. I don't child. want to groom them. We don't need to add any to our group. We have plenty. We have. We're okay. We're doing good. Yeah, yeah. We, we're good in numbers. We're good. You know, our numbers are, are actually increasing every year. No. We're actually good. It's, you know, what sucks is, like, what we don't, what they don't want children to to do is say, eh, no big deal. No big deal. That's how they think we're indoctrinating. Because the kids are just like, eh, no big deal. Because the kids around them, their friends and all of their friends around them are gay, are bi, are fluid, mm -hmm. are all of these things. And they weren't allowed to say that in my generation. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. And my generation alone. You know, it was, I was, grew up in Jamaica, Queens. It was, I was called a faggot from the time I was six years old. Wow. Like I was, I was like, that word has been in my head since I was six. I didn't know what it meant when I was six. But, but you knew there was a bad connotation yeah. when it was said, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, I mean, if you're talking about small towns, you're still going to hear that word in a bad connotation because of, well, it's Kentucky. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But in the bigger cities, <laughs> the bigger cities, people aren't going to tolerate that yeah. kind of stuff. So indoctr by indoctrinating, it means just sort of like... Um, Eh, no big deal. Yeah. That's what I think. No, no, yeah. and you're absolutely right. And isn't it sad that we, and, and that's not an uncommon thought to yeah. like what you said about like when you see a kid, you go the opposite way, yeah. right? Like, oh my you know, God. I'm a, I'm a woman. And so you're supposed to have that, that motherly bullshit, yeah. right? I oh lost that. I lost that with the grooming and all these assaults on yeah. us. You understand where, how sad is it that when I see a kid, I'm afraid to carry it because I don't want anybody to think anything. Right. Like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> like, like holy crap. So, you know, I had a, you know. There was a point in time where I would love to be like, I love, what I love though is like, I love when kids are screaming and just sort of like doing their thing and being kids. I wanted to be a teacher. Like I would love to be like an elementary school teacher, but like in my mind, I'd be like, okay, there'd have to be a camera in the corner. The door would have to be open at all times. And like, it would just, ha I would just have to make sure that the there was nothing. The, the kid had to be like three feet away from me. <laughs> you know what I mean? All of these things, were, yeah. because you have to be careful. God forbid a kid would be sad and he wanted to give you a hug. You're indoctrinating them. Yeah. 
You you're grooming I mean? them. Not awful that we have to think that that. And yeah, again, not that. an uncommon yeah. thought. Okay, yeah. we're two people that are different. We're part of the same community, yeah. and we both feel the same way. Yeah. I could imagine that many others yeah. feel the same way yeah. too. And with people like dog talking shit like that, it makes other people believe like, it. Like God forbid, you're on an airplane and you see one of them coming down. You're like, oh lord, please don't sit next to me. <laughs> please don't sit next to me. <laughs> please. And I, just, I just got off a plane this morning, really... and I always have the one kid kicking my seat please. because they always make sure to put it. Behind oh, of my course. Face. Like, yeah, always. they love like, it. Just, like, Put, put it behind the lesbian. She's fine. Put it behind the lesbian. So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did. So make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.